How's everybody doing today? I uh, I hope you're all doing well. I don't know about you, but this heat's heat's miserable. Um, we even got the cicadas out for coming out. So I don't. My son was telling me that they're humming away. Um, so I know when I was a kid, it always felt like when the cicadas were out, it felt like it was 20 degrees hotter than it actually was. I'm not sure if they're out, of course. It's, can't hear crap, but I just know my son mentioned that earlier today. Uh, good old day at work, um, providing remote support. I had a coworker that called me up for help who proceeded to absolutely ignore everything I recommend that he did. So it was a little frustrating, a little frustrating, you know, somebody calls you up for help and they don't want help. They want validation. So somebody on Twitter I guess mentioned to me that um, Patrick was on. I, I thought it was a current affair. I guess it's Inside Edition. Um, I, I just remember as a kid, a current affair. I think that was the one that Bill O'Reilly hosted. Um, and I guess they still have these shows. I do remember this woman. I remember this woman from like a really, really long time ago. So kudos to her. I, I think she looks pretty good for whatever her age is, whoever she is. I, I just remember her from when I was maybe a teenager or even younger, but apparently she's still around. So, you know, looking, well, I mean, I, I paused the video as soon as I turned it on. So obviously this isn't a good, uh, good, uh, you know, instant shot of her, but, um, I haven't watched this yet. Um, when I, I, I did see like, I think five seconds of somebody's recording of this, but it looked like it was on their phone. And I, usually when people record stuff like that, my text to speech isn't going to work. So I, I kind of just waited until it showed up on the website for Inside Edition. That shows, I, I, I know that show's been on since I was a kid. And I, I do remember this woman. So maybe she's been doing this the whole time. So it starts off the bat. People who own this home feel like they're living In a nightmare. The past five years, they've had SWAT descend on their home. Bomb threats called it. I want to be very, very clear. Um, ooh, ooh. That's not a very good picture. Um, I want to be very, very clear. I, I feel bad for Patrick and his wife, Nikki. I don't think anybody should be dealing with swatting and so on. I, I, I think I'm pretty clear on that. I, I think I mention that all the time. Um, I know I wouldn't be handling it. The same kind of situation well at all absolutely not well at all and this is a modern phenomenon that we have to somehow get a handle on because people have gotten killed um, and so on but uh, I really don't think what helps Patrick is the fact that he's consistently antagonizing and sort of encouraging this I really don't know why he doesn't just stop responding to trolls. I don't know why he doesn't just change his phone number. I, I don't understand why he doesn't just stop feeding the trolls. And it certainly doesn't help on the rare occasions that some innocent person gets sucked into his world, the way he gets so hyper aggressive. He just doesn't, he doesn't come off very well. I'm assuming that Patrick and his wife, Nikki, have not been working from home during COVID because I think everyone's gotten a bit good at, um, you know, using web cameras and not looking like hot death, like how to properly light themselves and so on. It's, it's not a good look. I mean, it's just a bad picture. They were stunned. Surrounded by COVID. Again, you know, I, I would never want to deal. Okay. I don't think you need to put the arrow there on Patrick. That is a wild shirt. That looks like he's wearing a tire almost. Um, she's got like a thousand miles to I feel bad for Nikki. Yep, falsely reporting. Homeowner Patrick Tomlinson. Ooh, killed his wife. That's, yep. That would probably bring everybody. Just the beginning. So, like, 
Yeah, and this is the thing that always kind of like. This is one of those examples of how I don't think Patrick helps himself. I don't think any rational person would like. I vast majority of people don't have interactions with their police department. That, that's just the way it is. But it's like there are crack houses in neighborhoods that don't have SWAT teams showing up 42 times in a row. Like you talk to anybody that's ever lived next to a drug house, like they could try calling the cops all day long. And the cops just won't show up no matter what. So it's like hard to believe that 42 times they've had SWAT teams. Stolen his identity. That's pretty creepy. What was that? Uh, isn't that Twitter? Or not Twitter, I'm sorry. Yeah, Reddit. Reddit, yeah. He's showing off his Reddit inbox. Well, it's Redditors. I mean, they're, they're like scum of the earth. Patrick drinking. They also been stalked on a business trip after posing for photos. <laughs> Their stalker showed up later in the same place. Uh, this is one of those things that I, I've never understood people do. Like, um, I, I think if you look at my videos, I, I mentioned before, like, I did a family uh, riverboat cruise over in Europe. Um, I sure as hell didn't release that information while to while I was traveling and I certainly don't release where I live and I, I certainly didn't mention what cruise line I was part of or anything like that I just think this is like common sense stuff the way Patrick approaches the internet and protecting his identity he comes off as like a 10 year old where you know you antagonize people they're going to mess with you and if you give up all this information they're going to use it They are still blame. He is still blaming Norm Macdonald. God rest his soul. It's and again, you know, every see. This is what I. If I ever, if I knew Patrick in real life, this is where like him and I probably could not be friends, because if somebody opened up to me with this crazy story about their house getting swatted forty two times, that right away would make me think. Okay, there's got to be more to this, you know. Police departments aren't just sitting around wasting money like that. You know, it's like really 42 times they've kicked in your door, they've they've they flashbang. Like, come on, man. And then when you ask him why they're doing this, and he falls back on the whole, I had a hot take about Norm Macdonald on social media. Like comedy is so, you know, um, comedy is so, it's all based on what your own tastes and all are. So there are plenty of people that don't like, Don McDonald's. On orders. <laughs> See, so much hatred there. Just because. Cult. Does for fun. Their forms have over. Yeah, well, that's the thing. If you keep feeding people, if you keep feeding people, they're going to keep doing it. Okay, there, 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 there's, there's the thing though. Like one of the things that's going to trigger me is they, they keep showing the same, like four or five, maybe it's four or five, maybe it's three videos, maybe it's two videos. It's at least two videos. He keep, they keep showing highlights of like the same two events kind of thing, and then he's claiming it's forty-two times. Yeah, that's what, that's what the police have to do. One of the stalker websites. Patrick, I gotta warn you, even if even if you get the FBI involved, it's not gonna get you out of your civil case. And again, this is like those things where it's like if me and Patrick knew each other, I know it'd piss him off because if he was 
filling me in on this whole um, lawsuit with the um, forum thing. If I was trying to talk to him as a friend, one of the things I'd say is like, well, are you going to, con are you going to try to cont contest this judgment? And if you're not going to contest this judgment, then you need to immediately show up to court or whatever and start the process of paying this debt off because it's never going to go away. Like civil judgments, you can't just write off on, you know, on taxes or no, I don't want to say taxes. I'm sorry, bankruptcy. You can't just go, oh, I'm bankrupt. No more civil judgment. Because if that was the case, that's what everybody would do. Dramatic music. Da, da, da. Um, it's just... Also, how long was this video? Two minutes and 47 seconds. So, yeah, they, they really put in the time. Of which, what was that? Five of those seconds are the graphics at the end. Um... I find Patrick just exhausting. Like, it's funny what he'll respond to, but at the same time, it's just, it's so incredibly exhausting. My nine-year-old kid has more common sense on how to carry himself and respond to bullying than Patrick does. Like, I, I just, I, I legitimately believe that for Patrick... He needs to get off the internet and he needs to go into therapy because he, 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 I think every, most people should go into therapy. I go to therapy. I'm not going to try to hide from it. I, I, I do talk therapy like once a month, either in person or remotely when it's because of work. And I find that really helps me with my PTSD, my stress of my job and so on. It wouldn't make him a worse person for going to therapy. If anything, it would, it would probably make him a better person, but I, I just, yeah, it's like you, years-long swatting campaign of terror. That's a title at the top. It's like, dude, at some point, you, you, like, I would, if, I, if I was friends with Patrick or if I just knew Patrick and I could have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, I'd have to point out, okay, you've been putting up this with this for five years and fundamentally nothing has gone your way by the actions that you're committing on not even a daily basis, an hourly basis. And the only thing that you can ultimately control is not how people respond to you, but how you respond to others. This is a basic thing that children learn. Children learn to modify their behavior. Otherwise, adults modify their behavior. My son learned around the age of two that unless he modified and controlled his behavior, his mother or I would modify his behavior. And it's one of the most important thing that small children learn. It's always better to modify your own behavior than to have mom or dad do it. It's, it's like, dude, what do you expect is going to happen? Because again, most of the, like, the people that are swatting him absolutely should go to prison. Absolutely. And I hope the FBI are able to track them down and take them out throw him in jail for like five to ten years but the other things that patrick does where like he antagonizes people online where he he responds to the the the, the most inane dumb trolling and he and he, he goes full bore on an attack it, i've never ever i don't think i've ever seen anyone consistently go this long and respond the same way every single time to trolling I don't even think that, what was his name? Chris Chan. I don't even think Chris Chan went this long without ever, you know, changing his behavior somewhat. Although, Patrick, don't, don't do what Chris Chan did. Um, but it's just so bizarre to me. I don't think I've ever seen somebody who fails so epically at interacting with social media while at the same time outright refusing to even consider Leaving social media, or at the very least, stop acting like such a weirdo on social media. It's just like, it's just, oh my, my. And like Patrick's going to, I don't know how Patrick hasn't noticed this, because there, there are people that are trying to take advantage of this situation, like that Jackie Singh character, um, that um, Shane Noakes guy. Like, th these are people that I would not want to have in my corner. I wouldn't have anything to do with them kind of thing. And I think Patrick tries to keep them away because um, Patrick's big thing is no matter what the situation is, he wants to be the big top dog threatening dude. But it's just like, 
I don't know. I, I, I cannot imagine a situation where I would air my personal laundry on national media with my wife. Like, again, if I was in this situation, I would have changed my behavior a long time ago. Like, does Patrick think that no one else gets trolled on the internet? People get trolled all the time. Women get trolled. Like, when it comes to, like, just the interactions on Twitter, which is what he seems to freak out about so much, women get trolled online all the flipping time. I will run into people that will, like, flip out at me on social media. It's just a natural thing. It's like, and you learn not to give a crap about some random person in the ether. And you also learn not to share your personal information and you learn not to, like, antagonize people and you learn not to like just air everything out it's just, i'm still amazed that like patrick he said said this in so many different articles and stuff that he's been interviewed about how his belief that no one can have a normal life outside of the internet that your normal life and your internet persona and your internet life are one and the same and that is so insane to me so insane to me there are very very successful very, very successful um, uh, streamers and so on that they make all their money online, all their money online. And they're streaming like 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day. And they'll tell you, when they're honest with you, they'll tell you completely, they don't give a shit about their fans or whatever. All they care about is it's a job to them. And their real life, their real persona is completely different than the character that they play online. Like, I have to wonder, does Patrick think when he goes to, like, Disney World that the woman who plays Sleeping Beauty is actually Sleeping Beauty and not some woman who it's just a job for her? It's kind of like the same thing with these internet personas where it's like, for whatever reason, he seems to think that everything that everybody is online, that's who they are. That's who they have to be. And that anything that could possibly threaten that fantasy, you've you've got to you know, throw down and, and all this nonsense. It's just so bizarre. I'm absolutely terrified. This is the biggest reason why, well, there's a couple of reasons why my wife and I monitor my son's internet access religiously. One, there are a lot of freaks out there. There are predators, there are groomers. Like, there are, <laughs> as a parent, it's your responsibility. It would be no different than me dropping my son off at a bus stop uh, you know, in the middle of New York City. Like, as a parent, I'm not going to allow that. Same way I'm not going to allow my son to just go on a 4chan and crap or Reddit. Like, you have to, like... But the other big thing that I'm worried about is with my son is he's going to have to learn how to, to, to respond in a logical fashion to online bullying, just like in real life bullying. I, I can't just show up at my son's school and kick the crap out of a 10 year old because he pushed my son down. Like my son has to learn how to de-escalate and how to react. It's one of the things I'm always trying to share with my son. You cannot control how others react to you. You can only control how you react to other people. And for a lot of people, they get off on trying to get a reaction out of you. And if you just let it go, they move on to the next person and then the next person and so on. It's not like the movies. It's not like Hollywood's. The bullies don't always get their up uh, their upcomings or whatever. But for some reason, Patrick just never learned this basic life skill. And it keeps getting him hit in the head over the head with like a, like a two by four of truth and logic. And he, and he, and he's still in denial about it over and over and over again. It's just, it's so, it's so bizarre. It is just, it is the wildest, wildest thing. Like, th this would be the moment, in my situation, this would be the moment where I would completely ghost the internet. I would change, I would change my, my phone number. I would even consider moving. Um, I would, I would delete every single online presence that I ever had. I would probably go as far as to legally change my flipping name. Just, just, I would just ghost the, the internet because at the end of the day, the internet's not important. What's important is your real life. And once you, I, I, I just don't get them. I don't get them. And it is depressing. 
it, it's depressing to see somebody who just, for whatever reason, he is so determined. I'm here to help. I don't know why I think that's funny. Um, he is just so determined to always get the last word. He's always determined. And I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Like, there are so many other things he should be focusing on. I, his literary career is dead because he cared more about insulting that Leslie woman than ever having a literary career. And then, of course, he's on Twitter talking about how, like, he's doing a spec, uh, um, a spec on a script or something while the WGA is in full, in full strike mode, which is, hey, good job on that. Uh, Hollywood's going to be closed for New York TV and everything because you're a scab now. You went on Twitter and told everyone you're a scab. So it's like, I, I don't get this guy. I, I just, I, I don't get this guy. He is a serial rake, uh, rake stepper. The guy that steps in the rake and it smacks him in the face. Like, I just imagine Patrick, if he put his hand in a mouse trap, his first thought is ow. And then his second thought is, well, does that happen every time? And he immediately resets the trap and sticks his hand back in there. It's like, dude, just grow up, man. You're like, you're in your... I don't know. He kind of looks like he's in his 50s, but I think he's in the 40s. Like, you got to grow up, man. Just get off the internet, exercise, start eating right, sleep a normal schedule, stop drinking so damn much, figure out what your real priorities are, and focus on those. That, his existence, this is a guy that could only exist in the United States, I think. Okay, maybe some other Western countries. But it's, it's just like... Could you imagine somebody like like Patrick in Africa or Eastern Europe, or, you know, where it's like, it's like you're online all day long getting in fights with people you don't know who they are. Uh, meanwhile, we're struggling for food. Like, I don't know. His priorities are just all over the place, and I don't get them. But anyway, I'm done ranting. Uh, my wife and my son are going to be getting back from the grocery store, and I'm going to cook them some dinner. Think about making a uh, chicken pot pie. That's a good old... Good old meal. I like chicken pot pie. I like to hand make it and all. Make my own crust and everything. So y'all doing well. I hope so. And uh, try to try to survive this heat. And please check on um, family members and so on. Any elderly in your neck of the woods. Because again, heat can kill. Um, it ends up killing a lot of kids. And it ends up killing a lot of uh, adult or elderly and a lot of the disabled. So just keep your head on a swivel and check in on people. If you would, um, you could save a life. All right, take care. Ciao.